good, y'all? It's JTK, and I'm gonna tell y'all my top five albums that influenced me to become a producer. Uh, number one, Lil Wayne, Carter Four. I probably started producing around that time, and that was one of, that was one of my favorite albums. I used to listen to that heavy. Uh, number two, Chief Keith. I don't like that one played a big part in me being a producer because. I was just really starting to take it serious around the time, and that started like this drill sound in Chicago. And that just made me want to be a producer so bad, listening to Young Chop and Chief Keep go crazy like that. So, third album was say OJ and Kush by Wiz Khalifa. That was like one of my favorite, favorite albums ever growing up. Uh, I used to, my sister and my brother used to listen to it a lot. Kind of put me on to us in a way. And I used to just make beats based off that all the time. Fourth album would probably be, these are actually mixtapes. My fourth album, fourth mixtape would be Buckle and Phaser Man by G Herbo. Well, a little herb at the time. Him and DJ L, actually, that sound was something I was trying to recreate for a long time and then I until I figured out that I needed to recreate something new but DJ L and, and Lil Herb they played a big part of my career too. So that was a big influence in sense of that. What stuck out to me about Welcome to Phaser Line by Lil Herb was that it was something new, something we really never heard before in Chicago. And then that like that took over like Lil Herb was on top of time man that was probably the best rap music i heard in chicago <laughs> so yeah man i i wanted to, i wanted my beats to sound just like that at the time but then i grew and i learned that i needed to be different <laughs> i need to have my own sound so yeah. number five will be cowboy the wild boy <laughs> that album that album probably changed my life. Not probably that album did change my life. It uh, it had my top song on there, "Envy Me," produced, uh, produced by me, song by Cowboy, and that song just opened the door for me. You know what I'm saying I had about four songs on there, but that one song particularly opened all the doors for me. And it was up ever since. <laughs>